Yeah. What? Oh, sit on there? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So here we are in the village. <laughs> nice <laughs> village. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you only speak Kyrgyz language. Ruski no. Net. 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 Kyrgyz. 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 Ah, okay. That's nice. <laughs> so I have to learn Kyrgyz to talk with you. <laughs> I've been studying Russian for the last week and now I have to learn a new language. <laughs> so here we have a lot of vegetables and fruit trees out here. We got maybe potatoes, apples, and some berry bushes here. And now we're gonna go to the village and uh, try to find uh, Banya so I can take a bath. Oh yeah? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. So now we're gonna walk into the village. Yes. And the center, of the village. center of the village. Okay, good. And, um, hey, I noticed your hair. What, what's the name of the hairstyle? Uh, just Kasichka. In, in Russian. Russian. And in Kyrgyz, Chachu. Okay, and I can find this online? Yes, you can find it. Okay, I'll check it out. What's the name of this river? Chongsu. Uh, mm, okay, that's like nice. Big, big Water. Big water. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty because of the mountains. Mm, because okay. Because of the rains. Yeah. It's water came from the um, mountains. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because of the rains. So Makes it dirty. Yeah, so but normally it's clear. Yes. Oh, okay. It's nice. <laughs> so I got my hair cut now and uh, now we're gonna go to the shop to find some uh, local t-shirts. Yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I like this hairstyle. Okay. It's, she did a good job. Yes. Hey, go stop with you. She wants picture with you. Oh, okay. Stop with you. Yeah. Alright. So this is a banya. It's where they take shower baths. So they have one room with the basically putting your shoes off and stuff, and then another room where um, it's getting warmer and hotter. And they got water spigots for washing, and then the third room is the hottest one. So it's like a sauna almost. And in here they have. The two chairs, and it's a really hot sauna, and then there's where the fire comes in. It's all done by fire and stones. So I'm gonna take a little banya for the first time. So what do you make? So it's like a bish parmak, then? Bish parmak? Bish parmak? It's national, yes, national dish. Ah, okay. So it's like a cake or what? No, not cake. No? Just this, like a soup. Soup? Yes. Oh, okay. So you have to make the... You have to make it really thin. Yes. Mm, okay. Just a bit. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, why don't you try it? Come and do it like this. You do it. Just a bit. Should be anything. Mm, okay. It's not a good thing. Yeah. It's interesting for me. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you make this? Just with water and flour? Yes. And salt? Yes. What about yeast? No. Oh, yeast. Just. Yeah. Just. 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 With eggs? Yes. So four things? Yes. And what about yeast? No. No yeast, okay. Yeah. 
That's easy to make noodles. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I have some real meat here. <laughs> so this is the whole entire goat, yeah? Yes. Okay, so you sort the meat. That's good. What is your name? My name is Aiza. How old are you? I am 10. Nice. Uh, and what is this? Oh? What is this? What is this? Yeah. What's the name? Oh, Hawa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice. And What's your name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and, and the price? 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 Yeah. How much? Ah, uh, how much? <laughs> uh, one kilo, 150. Oh, okay, nice. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, thanks. Um, maybe I'll buy some. So this place is called Chayek. Kind of reminds me of Wenatchee. Has dry hills. It's kind of arid, but it's a very interesting place because this place is about six hours to the east of Bishkek. And to my, to the back of me is basically China. If you go further, ten hours to fourteen hours, who knows how long? And. If you look towards the south, which is this area, you'll see Tajikistan, which I'm going to go to next. So I'm visiting this village primarily because my host came here for the weekend and I wanted to see a little part of Kyrgyzstan. And I'm just walking through the place to see what else I can find. It's really true that these people wear these hats over here. This guy is not trying even to look traditional and be impressive to the tourists. He's just painting a house and he wears one of these hats. I was thinking to go search for them. He wears a suit too as he works on his house. It's very interesting. I hope he looks this way for a second, but I doubt it. Some people say don't take videos or pictures inside cemeteries, but this cemetery is very interesting because looking at the formation of each of the grave sites, they are built with bricks. And they also have tombstones with the picture of the person, along with the dates and the name. And each one is a little different too. So we got all of these nice tombs all designed personally for each person. It's like a small village in here because you go through here, you see this path, you see that path. These little tombs are pretty big. I mean, they're taller than me. So when I come through this one, for example, I can't even see over the top, I have to tiptoe just to see what's there. And looking there, you can see there's some dirt, a pile of dirt, and then the rest of it. So it's pretty interesting this place. This wall kind of fell down but they have that pile of dirt. Everyone's little mansion here. Here they have brown goats and also black goats.
This appears to be a normal telephone pole when you look at it initially. It's wooden, it's big, it holds electric wires. But looking at it more closely, you'll start from the top and go all the way to the bottom and then you discover there's a concrete post attached to it. Looking closely at the bottom, the wooden part doesn't even touch the ground. It's attached to this concrete slab with thick metal strings. It's the most unusual thing I've seen so far here. I'm not sure why they do this. Maybe because a wooden pole is good for length, but it's not good for strength, so they have to use a concrete post attached with metal wire. This is the main street in Shayak. It's a population of about 7,000 people, uh, or 20,000 in the region. It's a uh, it's just a slow, small town. Here's a good example of that telephone pole. So this pear soda is called Tommy. It's a pear drink. And to open it, you got a little thing on the side. And you just t pull it off. Like that. The ice cream here is funny because you buy it like this, it's not even wrapped. And then when you open it, the way to open your ice cream is just to lift this up. And then you have your ice cream. But it's been like this the entire time it was in the freezer. So I don't know how clean it's supposed to be, but I guess it's pretty clean. It's like a statue uh, park. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty good? Uh, Alright, so uh, I was looking at all these statues and what's the reason? Why are they here? Reason? Why My are... English so so wide. No. Uh, who are these statues? Who? Um, uh, actors, uh, politics, politics, uh, okay. uh, dancer. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what, what, writer? writer? Yeah, writer. Ah. Uh. Many people say in here, writer. Ah, so they're all famous people? No. Yes. And why is it here? Because because they are famous. <laughs> I know, but why is it in Chayak? Ah, uh, because uh, it was born. They were born here? Huh? They were born here. Born, yes. Ah, okay. I understand now. <laughs> so who's the most famous? Most famous? I think Bubi Sarah uh, she is dancer, ballet. Oh, really? Ballet, ballet yes. dancer? Ballet dancer. Okay, so these are all Kyrgyzstan people. Yes. Kyrgyz people. Uh -huh. oh, okay. That's nice. And uh, this architect, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, this Bozu, Bozu, Bozu. Yeah. Bozu. 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 Yes. Is it like uh, bread? No. No. This uh, house. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> this Kogus house. Mm, okay. Uh, his. Uh, it's the same shape. Easy, easy architectures. Ah, easy. okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, is there one missing over there? Missing. Missing. This? Yeah. This. Uh, I don't know why. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <it's> gone? <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot for the information. And your name? My name is Izati. Huh? Izati. Izati. Yes. And your name? My, My sister. name is Ahmara. Ahmara. Oh, that's your sister? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. And your name? What? Uh, my name is Ahmara. Ahmara. And you? This is my, my brother. Name. Oh, really? How do you say your name? Say <laughs> thick. Mm, okay. Hey, but it's funny. She has dark hair and you have brown hair. No, uh, she's my um, sister's uh, daughter. This is my sister's daughter. Oh, your sister's daughter? Yes. Ah, so that's your niece, I think. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs>